That was me, Michael, on the left. My best friend, Antonio, was on my right. At the time, that was the best moment of my life. You see, our whole childhood, we had dreamed of being police officers. I could try to paint a beautiful picture about how we wanted to be good guys and heroes. But truth be told, we were just like the bad guys. The only real difference was that we had badges and we didn't commit the crimes. At first, everything worked out fine, but after a while, I realized what a thin line there really was between good and bad. Antonio managed to keep himself under control, and he even matured. For me, on the other hand, the line between good and bad was almost non-existent.
heavy though, or make sure that you stay clear, that's gonna cost you a little bit extra. I got some, just do your part on the money, you feel me? All right, make sure that you don't cheat me. And hey, send that money to Kobe and make sure he gets it tonight, all right? All right. Hey, stay low key, bro. I got you, be safe, bro. Yeah, do me a favor. Tell Kobe to come into my office in about 10 to 15 minutes. I'm going, or actually, you know what, not even, in about five minutes, maybe even a little bit less, as soon as he could get here. I'm going because I got some things to handle. But please let him know that, every, look under the coffee grounds. Everything that he needs is underneath the coffee grounds. But you know that sometimes they be having dogs and stuff going around here, and I'm not trying to have them find anything in my drawer. So I got coffee grounds on top. I'm going to leave it slightly open so that way... Nothing can be smelled, all right? All right, let him know. Well, what about Antonio? Man, that fool is not going to come into my office. I care less about him. I'm not worried about him right now, all right? All right, I'll... Bunch more bags too. You know I'm taking this. Things are just getting started. All right, so I'm sorry it took me a while. It's been a long day. Go ahead. Don't worry about it, man. So um, in a couple hours, this drug bust is going down, and we got to make sure we got all the operations according to plan, and that no mishaps come in our way. So from what I know, this black. Yeah. Dude, he's going to be at the parking garage, right next to the life insurance building, right here right. next to the, the high school. Make sure it's not it's not going to be suspect, is it? No, absolutely. Right, I've okay. talked to the officers, and we have the whole thing according to plan. It's all planned out, no worries. All right. So I, I suggest we go straight in, because he's going to pick up a package from a dealer. He's going to pick it up, and right at that moment when he least suspect it, we jump in, we attack, and we catch him. Okay, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. This is what I know. This is what I know. Okay? You know, you're gonna sit here and try to tell me that he's dangerous. All right, okay, all right, whatever. He's dangerous. This is him, us. Okay. Him, us. Him, us, like a game of tic-tac-toe, him versus us, okay? Okay. I know you say he's dangerous. There he is, right there, right there. Not just dangerous, right but there. probably the most dangerous right drug there. dealer right there. on the streets. I want you to be careful with I do not want him killed. I don't want you attacking him or treating him bad. I want him carefully intercepted. Okay. Act like he's that girl you've been waiting to get. And now, we live, baby. We live. So how do you suppose we intercept him? I don't know. That's your job. I'm not Johnny Cochran. I don't got to do everything around here now. You do whatever you got to do. But make sure that you do not harm that man right there. All right? All right. Well, of course we're going to catch him alive, Michael. Yeah, well, you didn't catch the last couple live. I'm taking this trash off. It'll be hot outside. You ready? And I'm gonna remind you one more time. Him. Us. That Let's was go. kind of unnecessary. Do you stuff ready, Michael? Yo, 
Mike. Call me over here, bro. bro. What the hell happened? I thought that you looked me in the face and you told me that black was going to be here. And it was going down in this parking garage right here. I don't see I a black. What happened? Everything went to I don't see a drug bus. Apparently, I don't know, man. Like, mm -hmm. he was supposed to be here. I don't know where we're wrong. All the research and everything was according. It was correct. I don't know why he's not here. Oh, your research. Your research department. Something else, ain't What are you talking about? I don't see nobody here. That's. That's some real good research. That's some real good research. I'm being sarcastic, dude. Now, you know what, Mike? I am tired of you, bro. You've been acting real suspicious since we first got to this academy. And I think you and Black are working together because at your office, I found a lot of sneaky stuff, man. Drugs, packages, money. What you think you was doing looking around my office? That's not the point. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to the office and I'm going to arrest you and Black. Believe that. Hey brother, I done known you since we was kids. You can't just walk away from me. How you gonna walk away from me? I am the law. Don't walk away from me. you in here for but you're not about to touch me i'm the only one that has been here for you this whole time if it wasn't for me you'd be in jail rotten right now you think you scarface huh you think you scarface driving a little blue toyota camera you gotta buy a coat from a police officer you ain't nothing so go ahead what you gonna do to me huh you gonna kill me give me your best shot i'm untouchable you can't touch me.